I've uninstalled my OEM mud flaps from my TC, but that's gonna leave this weird front end to my custom fitted uh, side skirt extension because I had trimmed that to actually match the back here. So I'm gonna be swapping this out for a different one and I'll show you basically how I was able to install this in the first place. After you've test fitted the skirt extension, the first thing you wanna do is figure out the spacings for the holes you wanna drill. Now my decision process on this was obviously one at the very front and one at the back. Then, when I looked underneath at the side skirt, I put one here, one here, and one here. And then, of course, I needed to put another one in between here and here. So, one there, and one there. Now, the side skirt does curve a little bit right here, so I'm actually going to add another screw here, and here as well, because it it curves up enough that it leaves a little bit of a gap. Use your floor jack to hold the front part of the extension up to the bottom of the side skirt. Uh, if you have another floor jack, stick it on the back side. I'm able to get away with bricks for this uh, demo. And if you have something that you can put in the middle here, I mean, you can just use your foot, honestly, you can do that. Then take some tape and run it along the top here, along the edge, all the way to the back. Now you can take this tape that you've put on the side here and mark where these holes are going to be on the side skirt extension. Now we know where the holes are going to be so just go ahead and move over about a quarter of an inch to half an inch at most and start drilling all of the holes down on the extension. Uh, now as I said earlier I'm going to be adding another hole right here and one right here because of the curve of the side skirt. Reposition the extension on the side skirt with your jack and then come in from underneath with a sharpie and mark through the holes where you're going to drill the hole on the side skirt. Um, and then take this off and then drill your holes. The reason you want to do that though is you want to make sure that they're going to be positioned correctly. You want them to be kind of close to the edge but not too far. I also highly recommend using a center punch. I'll put a link to the one that I use here. It's a spring loaded one. Um, but you want to do a center punch where the hole is going to be because you don't want the drill bit to accidentally walk and then scratch the side of your side skirt up. A quick note before I forget, if your uh, side skirt extensions comes with mounting hardware, just toss it out, go to the store, and get some stainless steel screws. Every time I've used provided hardware, they've rusted over time and then they became either, well, unsightly or difficult to remove if they were screwed into metal. And that's basically how you install a side skirt extension. So you can see here I've got my new one that I'm replacing the old one with. I'm just going to take this line it up to the edge here and then take a sharpie and mark where all the holes are going to go and then drill them out. But I also have to shorten it first because this is 80 inches long but the side skirts are only 76 inches long. So I'm going to take this downstairs to the basement, put it in my miter box and use a saw to cut the end off and then file it down. So here it is in the miter box. You can see the 76 inch marking with tape did that outside before I brought it in, and I've got it clamped down on the sides that are going to be hidden by the side skirt. That way if the plastic gets scratched up, you won't be able to see it. I'm going to use a hacksaw to do this. I'm just going to take my time. You want to make sure that you've got it secured properly so that it's a nice and straight cut. Be sure to support this side as you start cutting through the plastic so it doesn't shift um, and then mess things up, and then you end up with a nice clean cut like this. So I'm going to hit this with a file and then probably some 100 grit sandpaper and then 800 grit sandpaper just to get it smoothed out. And here it is after being sanded. I'm going to take this back outside, just double check the length on it again, and then I'll mirror this cut on the passenger side extension. Right, now I got two mirrored pieces that are the correct length. So time to trace my holes and drill them and then get this installed. I've got the old and new skirt extensions clamped together and I'm going to use my center punch instead of the sharpie to mark where all the holes are going to be. I'm going to hold off on this one and this one here until I've test fitted it to see if I actually need them. My spring loaded center punch did a great job of marking where all the holes have to be drilled out. So I'm going to drill them out and then do a test fit and then I'm going to have to actually uh, cut out a section like I did on the old one here on here because there's a piece of plastic trim that's going to get in the way. 
the test fit was good, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece out here. You can see I've marked it already with a Sharpie, and I'm just going to use a pair of tin snips to do it. If you're not certain if your tin snips are going to work and you've trimmed off the front piece of yours, you can just use it as a test piece to see how well your tool is going to work. And this was able to cut through here uh, without any problems. With this little piece removed, we're now ready to mount the side skirt extension. The driver's side is done and it looks good. I didn't even need to drill an additional hole here because this side skirt extension conforms to the underside of the skirt pretty well. Now I did leave a little bit of a gap right here because I'm going to be installing a mud flap here and I don't want it to rub up against the back of the mud flap. Uh, but here's what it looks like on the back side. And I can't wait to get this all done and then bring the car to the car wash. Both sides are done. I also made sure to wash the car prior to this segment. Now I didn't need to use 3M mounting tape to hold my extensions in place, but if you need to, I'll put a link to what I normally use in the video description below. I recommend you apply the tape to the underside of the skirt first and then peel the end of the plastic backing out and off while pressing the extension into place down the length of the skirt. As a bonus, you can see the Rally Armor mud flaps that I swapped in place of the OEM ones. I'll have a separate video posted for that install. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'll put links to various universal side skirt extensions in the video description as well. I hope this helps you out if you're looking to install something similar on your TC. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.